I don't know. I don't know if we just saw the very end of him or the signs of him fighting again. I don't know. I'm gonna bring his body back up to temperature though. Before I do anything. Sometimes when the unthinkable happens, it forces you to reprioritize things. Any fan of this channel knows how important Slinky is to me. He's the collective heart and soul of the reptiles here at camp. When he's being good, we love him. This guy's a little claw on my chest there. I love this guy. And I'm even when he's being I'm bad, no, we actually might love him no, a little bit more. No, come here, Slinky, don't do it. No. Ow, ow. That's why today is such an important day for all of us. The completion of his habitat might just be my proudest accomplishment ever here at Camp Kennedy. What's going on everyone? Today is the day, man. We have finished the enclosure. Check it out. I went and got topsoil. I spread topsoil out. We planted some plants. It's been a very busy day. I cleaned up all the junk that was lying around the backyard. Um, I built Slinky this little box here. It's not completely done. Guys, remember this cage is going to evolve and it's going to change. So you're going to see the whole transformation. I can't imagine what this thing's gonna look like in a year with all the plants grown up. I'm gonna put some shade up on top. I've still got a lot to do, but I wanted to get Slinky in with Pinky today. She's actually hanging out in her house, but I wanted to show you Slinky's. So it's very simple at the moment, okay? It's a smaller box. He's gonna be able to get into it, and you can see that Pinky went ahead and walked in there while the cement was curing, and uh, well, she left her little mark. So it's a very simple hide. We don't have to worry about heating it at the moment because it's summertime and we're not going to worry about it. But I thought, hey man, check this out. Let's get this thing going. This is an amazing enclosure. I can't believe it's mine. I can't believe it's Slinky's. This is just tremendous. So what I want to do right now is I first want to start getting Pinky out of the enclosure, uh, out of her box. I want her out when Slinky comes around. So let's see, look, I even made her house a little smaller. Look at this, there she goes. Come on, there you go, there you go. You gotta eat it. <laughs> That's my girl. She is so beautiful, guys. Don't you think she's awesome? I love her. So we're gonna put some food around the enclosure. We're gonna just enrich her and get her out. There she comes. Come on, come on, come on. There you go. You gotta run, you gotta run for it. Look at her go, look at her go. There you go, what a good jumper. All right. Fantastic. Let's get another one. And we'll see if we can pull it all the way over here. She is really going to town on those chicks, huh? So the reason I'm doing this is I want her out of her little hide before we go and get slinks. Look at this. Come on. There's a little chick. Oh, she got a little, a little dirt in her mouth. There she goes. She's swallowing it. There she comes. Here she comes. Come on. All right. Oh, there we go. Good girl. This is great. So she's been in here about a week, um, just shy of a week, and uh, she loves it. I wanted her to get used to this because I want her to know where a hide is. So when she, when Slinky gets in here, she's nervous, she'll go ahead and run into her hide. So let's see. I'm not very good with my tongs, am I? Okay, we're going to bring her over here now. Come on, girl. They got great eyesight. Let's see. Let's make her swim across. Look at this. Look at this. Here she comes, watch this, guys. She's gonna get right in that water, no problem. Look at her. Come on, oh yeah! Is she great or what, guys? Is this the coolest thing ever? This is what I always dreamed of as I was a kid. I wanted a large enough enclosure that these animals could really show us all their behaviors and do exactly what nature designed them to do. Oh God, I love this lizard so much. All right, so we've got her out. I'm gonna go ahead. And maybe we'll just put a chick kind of up up here so she has to sniff it out we're gonna leave that there and that'll hopefully catch her attention because right now guys what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead i'm gonna set up this other camera so we have a good view of what's going on with the pinkster let's see i think this will work right yeah that'll do it so pinky will be getting her uh last bit of food and we're gonna go ahead and we're getting slinky right now 
and we're gonna bring Slinky into this enclosure and we're gonna make Slinky walk. Uh, I think that's gonna be the easiest thing for me to do here. We're gonna lure him with some chicks. We're gonna make him run and uh, we've done this before. So I think you guys will dig it. The Slinkmeister is about to go into his new home. This is it. Um, I'm gonna keep an eye on these two. We wanna make sure that he isn't aggressive towards her. I don't think he will be. He's never been aggressive towards her. He's only been uh, kind of infatuated with her. He kind of digs her. And so that's a good thing. We want them to get along. She's gonna learn to appreciate Slinky. And here he is, guys. There he is. Slinky, come on, buddy. This is it, man. This is it. This is the day. You're out of this horrible enclosure and into a really beautiful house. Are you ready? Come on, buddy. Come on. Look at this. He listens to me. Come on, Slinky, let's go. I wish he was like a little bit more like a dog because it would be amazing if he would just follow me like a retriever or something. But I have something that will get his attention. Come on, Slinky. Come on, Slinky, let's go. Come on, Bubba. You know you want it. You know you want it. You'll have this one now. I'll give you this one now. And then we're gonna get you out, buddy. We're gonna get Slinky out of that enclosure. Come on, bub. I got more. I got more. Oh, guys, this is gonna be difficult to do. Hold on. We're gonna keep you there. And we're gonna... Come on, Slinks. This is it, man. I'm... You gotta move it. You gotta move it, bud. Come on. Come on. Here he comes. Here he comes. Look at that move. Look at that lizard-like stance and the way he crawls. It's so cool. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, he got it. Just like a Komodo dragon. Just a little cousin of the Komodo dragon right there. Come on, buddy. Come on, Slinky. Here's more. Here's more. Here's more. Yes. Come on. Oh, is this awesome, guys? Seeing a lizard walk across the property towards his new home. So amazing. Come on, Slinks. Come on, Slinks. Oh, he's so fast. Oh, you're getting faster. Come on. Oh, there it is. Good boy. Oh, we're almost there, people. Look at this. Not too far now. Here's another one. Here's another one. Oh, man. Slinky. Oh, oh. Chirp, 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 chirp. Oh, no. Help me. Ah, there he goes. You got the cutest little murderer I've ever seen. All right. Come on, Slinks. Look where we're going. Look where we're going. Come on. Do you think you can see it from that far? I think he can. I think he can. Yes, good boy. Yes, my big dragon. All right, guys, this is it. Let's get this cage open, man. Are you excited? I hope you guys are, because I am. I'm freaking out, man. Okay, all right, Slinky, Pinky. Where are you, Pinky? Oh, man, I don't know where she is, but she hasn't gotten her food. Well, looks like Slinky's gonna get it. Come on, Slinky. Let's see. Come on, bub. Come on, look, it's over here. It's over here, Slinks. Do you guys see him back there? Just lurking. Come on, Slinky. Come on, you know you want it. Slinky, oh, he might be on to some of the rabbits that run around here. Look, look, here he is. He's using that tongue. He's sticking that tongue out. He's trying to zero in on the scent. There it is, he got a sight of it. Come on, buddy, come on. Let's get him in. Let's get him in. Come on, Slinky, come on, Slinky. This is it. This is for everything, buddy. This is for everything. Come on. Oh my God, Slinky. Slinky boy, you're in. Yes, Slinky is in his new house. This is amazing. There it is, buddy. Look at that. And there's a girl in there. There she is. She just crawled out and she's just now seeing Slinky. Oh boy, I don't know if she's interested in this. Let's see. There she goes, way out back, and there's Slinky. Guys, this is amazing. Let's get them going. Oh boy, he is on to her. Let's see, guys, I'm gonna get the food and bring it in. Oh my gosh, look at these two dragons inside this habitat. This is tremendous, people. So tremendous, I'm gonna throw this one, see what happens. Oh, he's on to her. He is on to that gal. Let's see what happens. He does not even want the food anymore. And look at how curious Pinky is. She's standing over there. There's Slinky. I don't know if he's gonna even go for it. Oh yeah, guys, he is, he is in a different zone, man. He is looking for 
Pinky. And she is trying to get out of there. Oh man, he's a big lizard. Holy smokes, where are you, Pinky? She's over here, guys. Let's see what she's doing under the water. Oh my gosh, there she is. There she is hiding out, guys. She is just trying to hide out from Big Slinky. This is so cool, though. I've never seen her stay around Slinky, so she's, uh... Oh, he had a little sneeze. Look at this, he's gonna go look in his box already. Are you guys kidding me? Is this for real? Can, can you believe we have this thing right now? We're gonna let Slinky look around. Look at that, buddy. Oh, look at this, guys. His hemipenes were out. He is on the scent of Pinky. He's excited. Oh my gosh. Look at him. Look at him just probing around. This is his new house. Look at this. This is amazing. He's so intense. He wants to scent, like get the scent of absolutely everything here. I want to get this chick. It's floating right over here. Let's see if he still will eat. I think he got really excited about Pinky and he's not really interested in the food. But maybe we can get him going. Oh yeah, there you go, there you go. Easy, easy, easy. Good boy, good boy, I love you. Guys, you know, just a few months back, this lizard was almost dead. And I knew I had to do something for him. I knew that since he survived, since we got him back to life, I knew that I wanted to spoil this animal. This is something I've always wanted to do for him and Pinky and, um, I'm just so excited and so happy that he survived, that he lived to see what we did for him. Thank you so much for living, buddy. You are just a true warrior. And now I want you to be happy the rest of your life, okay? However long you give me, bud, I want you to live in peace in this place. And you got a beautiful little gal too, and he's on her. Oh God, what's she doing in there? She's looking at the camera. Oh, she's gonna look up, look guys, there they are. There they are, right there. Oh my God, she's just looking. They are literally only inches apart. Oh, he's going. He's gonna go in the water. He's gonna go in the water to look for her. She's a beautiful girl. You gotta be nice to her, man. You gotta be good to her, okay? I'm gonna keep an eye on you, buddy. Don't, she's not a snake, I promise. She's a beautiful little lady and you gotta treat her good. Look at these two, they're so close together. This is awesome, Slinky's taken to the water. Oh my gosh, is this amazing? Look at him. So beautiful. God, I love this lizard. And right now she hasn't she hasn't taken off and gone into her home. So that's cool. He's just busy right now exploring. There's so much happening. I'm freaking out. We've got we've got Pinky underwater. We got Slinky in the water. We've got so much going on. She's gonna get a breath and he's gonna walk around. Hey girl, how are you doing? You alright? You okay? I know he looks big, but he is a sweetheart. You don't worry about him, all right? You don't worry about him. I'm gonna keep an eye on that guy and make sure he's good to you. Holy smokes. Is this just amazing or what? We are witnessing a new era of Camp Kennan. This cage cost me, even with all my wheeling and dealing and all the, the help that I've had from so many people, this cage cost $8,225. I went ahead and I, I, I counted up all my receipts and uh, that's the number we got. And if you factor in, if I had to pay for this pond, my goodness, this cage would have cost me over $20,000. So I just wanna really say thank you to everybody who helped me with this cage. Of course, Ed and Greg from Aquascape, the whole team at Aquascape, all the CACs that came down here, this cage really wouldn't be as impressive if, if it wasn't for this beautiful feature. And look, there's Slinky. Let's see, can he go into her home? Can he get in there? Let's see. He's gonna po poke around. Let's see how well I made this hide. Oh, I don't think you can fit in there, buddy. I don't think that's gonna happen. But if it wasn't for Aquascape and that friendship we developed a few years ago and Greg and Ed and Colleen and everyone at Aquascape, I just wanted to say from the bottom of my heart, guys, thank you so much for what you've done for these animals. Um, they obviously love, oh, look at that. There you go, there's a hemipene. You see him get excited? Have you ever seen a hemipene on a lizard? That was impressive. So he smells her and he's getting excited. He wants to breed. This is amazing information we're getting. Look at that. He cannot fit into that, into that hole. So my, my plan worked out. That'll be giving her a nice 
hide. But as I as I continue to watch Slinky, I want to get this story out about my friends at Aquascape. They are amazing. And this is what they've done. And originally we were going to have this divided, but I wanted to just keep it open. I think it looks more impressive open. I think I trust Slinky enough and know him enough that he's not going to hurt this female, uh, that we can let them cohabitate. I am keeping a cage open for Pinky. If she does need to be, uh, you know, kind of put into another area, which is fine. Uh, I could put her back in her original cage or I might put her where the Cuban iguanas are. I'm not 100% sure, but I do have plenty of options now since we have this large enclosure. So um, the reason these guys built this enclosure for Slinky was because they love Slinky as much as I do. Look at this, look at this. They love Slinky as much as I do. And they, they, they were the ones that filmed him eating the snake and it was such a, he's just such an amazing lizard and he's such a star of the, of the channel that they wanted, they jumped right on board when I said, hey, I had this idea and Greg wouldn't even let me finish the sentence. He's like, we will be there and we will make him an amazing uh, aquascape ecosystem because they just love him. And that's what they're able to do. These guys are artists and they're able to really do a great job uh, for animals, for turtles and lizards and crocodilians and all the animals we all love. So I just wanted to make sure I said thanks to them. And I also want to say thanks to my buddy, Jerry, uh, without Jerry's just talent uh, in construction and building and you know without him he worked his butt off here you know I did give him some money but it was not nearly as much as he deserves and I just wanted to say thanks to him as well because it was him motivating me to get this done him giving me the homework him teaching me how to build and uh, he was the one who said we're gonna do the cinder block like this and we're gonna have the cage and he called in some favors from some friends so I could get some aluminum. I mean, it's been just amazing and I've made a bunch of new friends uh, here as well because of this. So I'm really thankful to Jerry for helping me out. Here comes my wife. Come here, babe, this is awesome. Yeah, he's all excited. He's showing everybody his, his tackle. He's, he's smelling her, Kato. He's smelling her and he's like excited, but she's actually out right over there Come on in, hon. I, I'm good. No, come on in. Oh my God, she just got a pedicure. I think she's afraid of her toes getting be bitten off. Oh well, I was gonna see if she's she's right here, but I was hoping you'd take the other camera and you could film Pinky while I film Slinky because it's there's so much action going on. Look at this. He is like so onto her, hon. It's really amazing. Like he is uh he has got the look of love, if you know what I mean. But I'm just psyched that he's in this big enclosure. I was talking to our friends and telling them, you know, just about what it took to build this thing and the people that helped us out. And I didn't tell you this, but it was $8,225 to get this thing built. I oh kind of added everything gosh. up. It was worth it though. Don't you think it's worth it, hon? So yeah, it. she's funny. I think she wanted a kitchen, <laughs> but she got a lizard cage instead. Look at her, look at our girl. Oh my God, guys, this is so great. I want to see just what'll happen when he sees her walking around, you know? Oh, he's onto her. Look, look at that. He sees her. He's getting excited. Come on. But remember, she's a little girl. Now he should start bobbing his head. Look at this, guys. You think she's going to go in the water? I think so. Oh boy. Oh, this is going to be good. Ooh, that was definitely not a predatory approach see his head he's gonna start bobbing his head he was just doing. yeah he was bobbing his head and he's just getting excited now look at her she's like she's uh, like dr. Alan Grant in uh, Jurassic Park she thinks if I just don't move he won't see me and that's what she's banking on she's gonna just try and hang out underwater like this while Slinky is on to her man he's looking for love this is so cool oh boy he's going underwater he's in the water oh my gosh this is like this enclosure and seeing them in it is amazing. Don't you think, babe? Yeah. It's really cool. Yeah, because I've been so used to seeing her in it. He's so big. Yeah, he is. He definitely dwarfs her. She's right there. She's right there, dude. You know her or no? uh, if he puts his head underwater, he'd be able to sense her underwater. Look at this. Look at that. Oh my God. There's so much happening in this video. It's just, it's amazing. It is absolutely amazing. 
But the good thing is, guys, look, she's got places she can hide. She feels confident. She hasn't run away to her box yet. Slinky's doing his thing. He's walking around. Nope, he's going under. We got an underwater slinkster. And look at how he probes. Even underwater, that tongue works perfectly and will give him a good indication of what's around. We are getting underwater footage of Slinky right now. This is so cool. I can't wait. I'm going to load this thing up with crayfish. He can look in the rocks for the crayfish. He'll eat underwater. He is a true water monitor, man. This is how this animal should be kept, right? Unbelievable. All he's got to do is put his head under water and look over there. You're going to find her. You're going to find her. It's a game of hide and seek. And if you win, you get to make babies. Oh my God, it's so cool. This is all. No, I'm not. No, you don't breed me, dude. No, it's just me. You got to get... You gotta get down with her. Come on, man. This will be so amazing if we get little slinksters. I would love it. I think you guys would love it too. I don't know. He's uh, like two ships that sail past in the night. Look at that. But he does dwarf her. I mean, look at, oh, she's gonna stick her head up and he's gonna catch wind of her. Oh my gosh. Look at this monster crawling out. This is really cool. It's almost like we have our own Southeast Asian uh, habitat right here. Now guys, again, remember this place is going to just, man, it's going to grow. There are going to be ferns popping up. There's going to be all kinds of really, really cool plants growing. And of course, I'm going to get more in there. Look at this. Here he goes. He's going to squeeze in there, I think. I don't know. He's just kind of having a look. Oh, that's awesome. Look at that. No problem. Mom, you thought he wouldn't be able to fit in there, huh? No, uh, do well. I know my kids or what? I know my children. Look at this guy go. You got such a cute butt, dude. I love it. So that's awesome. He just went in. All right. He's really onto her, man. Or he would like to be. He's uh, really investigating everything. And meanwhile, she is still just right there. Hey, girl, are you going to go under? That's my girl. Gosh, she's so cool. Easy does it, sweetheart. She's uh, definitely on edge, you know. But I'm not seeing her too stressed out. This is cool. She's just kind of using the enclosure as it was designed to conceal her, to keep her happy, to keep her hidden, and um, keep her enriched. Now, I wonder, just let's do a little experiment, shall we? Let's see if she'll eat, even though she's a little freaked out. Let's see if we could re reassure her that everything's okay. Maybe she'll take another uh, check. I don't know, but we'll do this little experiment. I know Slinky probably will. Mm -hmm. He ate a bunch, yeah. Hey, girl, do you want to eat? Are you too freaked out? Oh, that's a good girl. That's what I like. Oh, now we're talking, man. This is what I wanted, guys. This is why I put her in here first. So she knows this is her habitat. And she's still taking food, even though that big behemoth is just poking out right there. So this is a good sign. This is what we want. We don't want her to feel so uncomfortable that she doesn't eat. Very, very cool stuff. So I'm liking this. Uh, Slinky's just coming out of his box right now. So amazing. Let's keep the camera pointed on them. Let's see. We're, we're just feeding our lizards. No big deal. Let's give Slinky a little food. Hey, Slinks, look. Come on, bub. She's watching me. Oh, you want a little something? I'll hook you up. How cool, man. This is the best video ever, man. This is such a long time coming. All right, now we've got... Let's see if he's got any kind of bit. Good girl. I want to see how he responds to her eating. Oh boy. Oh boy. Again, she's got enough room. Here she is. And she's got the prey item in her mouth. Oh, they're almost face to face now. Hopefully. Hopefully he won't go after the food. He's more interested in the fact that she's there. But let's see. We're gonna go ahead here. We got we got so much so much going on. She's hiding down there. All right. I'm trying to get a good shit. I'm about to give him food now. Well, the food's right here. Hey, Slinky. Slinky. Easy, easy, easy. There we go. There we go. See? Now she's just going to hold on to that food. She doesn't want to give it up. And that's good. She shouldn't have to. So amazing, guys. 
I'm loving this. And the other good thing is, you see, he's in there, he's big, he stirs up all the algae. It's going to get sucked into that uh, vault system right there and get caught in the biofiltration. So very, very good stuff. Loving how they've designed this thing. The water is staying nice and clean. We've got African cichlids in here. If Slinky wants to hunt for him, he can. If Pinky wants to hunt, she can do that as well. But right now, it is all about seeing the behavior and seeing how these two get along with each other, especially since she's got food in her mouth. So I want to see if he still has table manners, if he still realizes that she's a good girl and he won't take her head off because he's really excited to eat. But what I can do, I don't want him to find this whole thing because we do have to feed Lagatha. Laggy Lou, come here. Look at him. Oh yeah, fat belly. That's a good, good lizard. That's a good lizard. I think that's enough food. So what I'm going to do is place the food out here. All right, and then we're going to pull this in. And we're just going to keep on letting Slinky do his thing. Unreal. Love it, man. So like I said, um, you know, I got some of this topsoil. We spread it out underneath the sand. It was inexpensive. If It's going to get mixed in with the sand eventually. These animals are very... Um, they're actually quite destructive. You know, they're so big and they're so active. They dig, they do a lot of things to their uh, environment. So I expect this all to get mixed up. But remember, we have Stuart from Universal Rocks coming. I'm gonna have to dig along the perimeter because we're gonna hide all this block, hun. We're gonna hide it with his amazing artistry. It's gonna look just like rock, both inside perimeter and outside perimeter. Uh-oh, uh-oh, there she is. She's got her food. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna block him. I want her to swallow it. Go ahead, babe, you swallow it while I block this knucklehead. Okay, let's keep him over there and she's over here. And hopefully, uh-oh, he's looking at you. Hurry up, uh-oh, this is it. This is it, this is it, this is too late. This is too late. She better hurry up. Oh no, this is good, babe. Look, this is, this is his breeding behavior. And she just doubled back. She just doubled back under him. She's so smart. Ah, oh, that's awesome. They're both underwater. This is bizarre. She's over here. She's got the chick in her mouth. And then, of course, he just popped up. But what he was doing was a breeding head bob. It wasn't an aggressive food, you know, attack me for food situation. So he knows she's underwater. I'm loving this. This is like so amazing right now. This is the coolest thing I've ever seen, man. And this is what you can accomplish when you have large enclosures. You can really see the full range of behaviors of these animals. And that's what I'm trying to do with all my animals. This is just the beginning, people. We have so much more to do to this enclosure, and we're gonna do so much more with other enclosures and new animals coming to the camp. And I'm gonna need your guys' help because we have a lizard, not, no, we have a lizard here, but we also have a crocodilian that I'm gonna get and we're gonna need help with fencing. So I'm just asking if anyone out there has any connections with fencing, yeah, just send me a direct message, man. <laughs> We'd love to hear from you because the fencing is gonna be really, really expensive as we try and get this thing built for crocodilians. So that's our next goal. Um, just giving these animals an amazing habitat here in our backyard at our new educational facility. And um, if you guys have any connections, please let me know we would love to hear from you. Just fire out in the comments below and we'll get in touch with you. Or direct message me. But look at him go. He is just looking away for his lady love and it's just not happening. Guys, I think this is tremendous. I think right now we're going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to sign off, man. Because this could go on for hours. But what I'll do is I'll throw a video on Patreon. If you guys want to check that out, go to patreon.com slash where you can see some never before seen footage. And I'll even do more videos of these two. I'll probably wind up doing a follow up video showing you guys just how they're doing because I know everyone's gonna be very concerned about our little girl, Pinky. But uh, Slinky looks like he's having fun in here. He doesn't realize how close he is to her, man. I know. Just amazing. I, I, like he's going right over right her. Right over her, yeah. It's like just total typical dumb guy, right babe? Yeah. yeah. Knuckleheads. Yeah, uh, oh, oh. Uh, ooh, uh, oh, did she drop her food? She? She's over there. Now. Yeah, she looks like she dropped her food. Oh, she did. She did drop the food. Look at this, guys. The food is underwater. And Slinky's right there probing for it. Will Slinky eat that underwater? I don't know. 
she decided I'm not gonna bother eating right now because I got this big love lover boy in the mood and uh, she wants to make a hasty retreat I think because he is still looking oh my gosh she's gonna go out she's going out look at that beautiful girl he's still underwater which direction is she heading right towards him oh brother Oh man, here we go. He's to make it to her box. I think so. I think so. Up oh, there it is. There it is, guys. Oh, look at his head. head. There's his head bobbing. Oh, look at her run. Look at her run. And oh no, she missed her box. Oh no, this is it. Here we go. He's okay over there, babe. What? No, he's not gonna hurt her. No, I mean get a good shot. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's not gonna hurt her. No, he's definitely doing, you know, head bobbing action. Here he comes. I don't know. Oh, no. Oh, there she goes. There. Boy, what are you blind? What are you blind, dude? Come on. Look at these two knuckleheads. Oh, my gosh. She like, is fast. He's like never going to get her. The he's never, he's never going to catch her. Here we go. She still, she doesn't want to go in that box. Maybe she doesn't think, maybe she doesn't want to go in because she feels like she'd be cornered in there. Ah, that's true. Maybe she's just flirting. She's playing hard to get. Is that it? Hard to get? I had to chase you. Actually, I didn't have to chase her that far. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I did a lot of chasing. Oh, man, this is awesome. Well, as I was saying, guys, I just want to say thanks to everyone who followed along. We're going to let Slinky and Pinky work this thing out. I'll have updates for you. I'll let you know what's going on. Don't worry about it. Um, this is just amazing. I'm going to sit. Enjoy these guys, see what they're up to, and I'll keep recording. But um, for now, this video's over. Slinky is in a beautiful new enclosure. And uh, it's because of all you guys watching that we're able to do this, so thank you so much. Please continue to share our videos, like and subscribe, head on over to Patreon like I mentioned earlier. And um, man, this is what it's all about. Let's do good things for our animals, people. Thanks again to Aquascape, Greg and Ed and Colleen and everybody around that's helped us, all the CACs, my buddy Jerry, and everyone who had a hand in this muck truck, my friends over at Muck Truck, um, you know, Terry and Joe French, thanks guys. Uh, check out their machines, they're really fantastic. I could not have done this without those guys. All of those links will be in the description below. If you're looking to build your own enclosure, definitely check out all the people who helped me out. I'll see you soon. There they go. See you guys. So cool.